So Simes Lectularius, the bed book, is on the increase uh, with the increased levels of international travel that we're having. Um, and the reason that it gets spread around so easily uh, is it doesn't tend to live on people themselves. It will live in their bags or in their clothing. And uh, the smaller instars, the younger stages of the bed bug, uh, are very small, only two to three millimeters in length. Um, but all of the stages are exceptionally thin. It's a very flat um, uh, insect. And as a consequence, it um, can uh, hide, for instance, between the uh, pages um, in a book, uh, and you'd have no idea that it was there. And so what it does is it finds small um, spaces, to uh, nooks and crannies, to squeeze itself into. Um, so even uh, if you've got quite severe infestations of it, it can be exceptionally difficult to find it. Um, sort of places to look are um, in the seams of bed um, linen, um, in the uh, points where the frame of the bed um, has uh, joints, um, in the uh, edges of the mattress, um, and then from there it can uh, you can move so they can move out um, anywhere in the uh, room in which you've got the person sleeping. They tend to stay near where the person's sleeping, um, and they will take very regular blood meals every night or every few nights, um, and uh, it can be uh, really quite. Um, uh, a very, very unpleasant experience for the people that are dealing with this infestation as they never see them um, very very rare they'll actually see them um, but every morning uh, because they tend to be quite inefficient feeders and the person moves around during the night and regularly disturbs their feeding then they will have um, often not just a single bite marks as you would get with a mosquito for instance or a midge um, but little clusters of bite marks uh, where they've repeatedly had to um, re-inject their um, uh, the where they uh, their mouth parts into the person uh, and to effectively spit into the person to release the anticoagulants and the uh, the irritants which cause the inflammation uh, which then makes it easier for them to take the draw the blood meal so they require quite a lot of food and um, it can be exceptionally difficult to trying to um, work out where they are in uh, in the room uh, and if you've got a lot of stored items as is common particularly in um, uh, in HMOs um, uh, but also uh, in uh, hotels and such like uh, it can be a little easier because you've got less stored items but they can squeeze themselves into pretty much any uh, aperture and they can uh, actually squeeze their way through walls and uh, make their way into neighbouring uh, rooms above, below and to the sides of the room where they in the initial infestation started. Um, and so uh, when they do a treatment for this in uh, hotel chains then they will, vac uh, they will empty out all of those rooms um, in, a, a sphere, in a sphere around the uh, one which has got the initial infestation uh, and then they have to do things like removing the covers of the light fittings and um, uh, pulling away any skirting boards um, to try to uh, make sure that they manage to get any spraying in behind those items so that the uh, insects can't hide behind them away from the insecticide. Now the um, insecticide that they use, what they spray everything with, uh, is what's called a knockdown insecticide or residual insecticide. Uh, and it has a, a persistence uh, of typically six months and so once it's sprayed onto an item um, or a surface then what happens is any uh, insect that crawls across that surface for the next six months um, they will get some of the insecticide on their uh, feet and uh, on the underside of their bodies uh, that will soak through their exoskeleton and um, it acts as a sort of nerve agent most of them are um, which uh, only kill insects and not humans um, but they uh, they are able to kill insects in very small concentrations 
and so after around six months um, you're probably going to be doing another respray because um, the uh, eggs of these things can remain dormant for uh, longer than six months but not as long as a year um, and so you need to make sure that you not only kill off all of the live um, uh, creatures or the insects itself but also any that might hatch and continue um, trying to uh, propagate themselves inside that property um, and the neighboring rooms um, so it um, can be uh, quite a haunting experience if you've ever had these um, and you need to uh, for all of your uh, clothing needs to be washed uh, on a hot wash in order to kill them off um, and it's very rare that you'll actually see them but most uh, you will continuously wake up with new bites um, so uh, a real problem um, for treatments um, and uh, a real nuisance to live with um, and something that uh, you should be very careful of uh, transmitting outside of the premises where the infestation is um, as they can get their way onto your shoes and your trousers uh, as you're uh, and on shirt sleeves and things as you're moving around the premises um, and can then get their way into your car or into uh, your own home uh, and so you should be very careful of uh, um, carrying these things away from premises where an infestation has occurred.